The overall goal of this procedure is to show how to implement behavioral conditioning of a simple reflexive response to food in honeybees. This is accomplished by first capturing honeybees, restraining them in harnesses, feeding them a small amount of sucrose solution, and then allowing them to become accustomed to the restraint. Next, bees are selected for conditioning that show sufficient motivation when their antennas are touched with sucrose. During conditioning, odor presentation is paired with the sucrose reward to elicit the conditioned response. Next, unreinforced trials measure the presence or absence of the response, the latency of the response, and the duration of the response. The final step is data analysis and graphical presentation of the conditioning and test trials. This technique has been successfully applied to studies of honeybee biology and health. Learning behavior is particularly sensitive to disruptive treatments uh, such as pesticides making it possible to assess the impact of these types of treatments on honeybee behavior at sublethal levels. Visual demonstration of this method aids in understanding of the stimulus timing required for effective conditioning and the common errors that reduce effectiveness. An individual new to this method will struggle with the attention to detail required from both the protocol and the surrounding conditions. To begin, Collect worker bees from the entrance to the colony as they pause before departing or as they return from...